All right, folks, we back in the lab. We back in the studio. I'm Rob. He's Rick. What's good? What's good, bro? <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah. This is Captain's Law Podcast yes, sir. YouTube show. Mm-hmm. Letting y'all know right now, we're going to do a quick little wellness check, and we're getting into it. First of all, what's good, my man? How you feeling? I'm good, man. Shit been busy. You know what I mean? Uh, had I gotta, three I gotta birthdays. Check, I got to check in on you. You know, had, a lot going on. Had three birthdays. You know what I mean? Shout out to my oldest, my youngest, and myself. You know, we had our birthdays back to back. So, uh, you know, did it did it right. But everybody good, man. How about yourself? 40 plus days. Coming up on day 45, 46. Shout out, shout out, shout out to you. Day 45, Shout out 46. to you. Somebody has to do it. No shout alcohol. Out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, cuz. Body feeling different, you know what I'm saying? Face looking real skinny. Feet looking skinny. You know what I'm saying? It's weird I throw that in there, but <laughs> this show how, how much I was, you know, inflammated. But I'm good though, man. But um oh, man, just chilling last night. I'm I'm curled up. It's after hours. <laughs> and this nigga texts my phone to my son. Hey, did you see that? Yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck you talking about, bro? Next thing you know, I just Happened to turn the Grammys on, and I'm hearing about this Will Smith, Chris Rock shit. All right, so <laughs> wild nigga shit, bro. Why, hey, play but, the clip, but necessary. Play the clip. So we're gonna play the fucking clip, and then we're gonna get into it. Play the right? clip. Stop tonight. Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> <laughs> Praying that Will Smith wins, like please, Lord. Jada, I love you. GI Jane too. Can't wait to see it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that was a that was a nice one. Okay, I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh wow, wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my the- wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a... Uh... Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Mm, he said, I'm going to. Now, those who are viewing us live and you're not watching Captain's Log Podcast YouTube show on Facebook or YouTube, you will not have seen that clip or seen the intro. So make sure that you guys tune into the actual podcast, Instagram, and YouTube, and Facebook page so you catch this shit live with all the goodies. But all right, no. so so let's dive into this shit. Yeah. First and foremost, I'm just gonna throw it out there. I'm not saying that he was right, and I'm not saying that he was wrong, but I'm saying that I would have did the same shit. And it is what it is. If I lose the award or I had to spend a night in jail for whatever reason, then it is what it is. But at the end of the day, bro, like no matter what's going on. That's still his nigga's wife. Bro. All right, let's 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 break it down first, right? Let's break it down. So, for those who do not know, Jada Pickett is suffering from alopecia. And if you are not hip to what alopecia is, it is when your immune system tackles or attacks the hair follicles on the human body. And it's not just the hair, it's the eyelashes, the eyebrows everywhere. So she has an immune deficiency right now. And then according to stuff that she done posted, stuff that she done talked about, she has been, she has been one, very sick. Two, it's been depressing and very hard and stressful for her and her family to include Will. So this is a very sensitive subject when it comes to her health. Now, with that being said, me personally, and this is only me assuming, I assume that Chris Rock and Will Smith have some type of personal relationship. 
And the reason why I say that, they've been in shows, movies, they've been seen out together. So I assume that Chris Rock knows about her health condition. Now, if anybody thinks it is different, please comment on the lives or whatever. We got like eight of them up. But I would like to hear what y'all think about the relationship between Chris Rock, Will Smith, and Jada Pickett. So with that being said, I think that's why he fired off like that. Uh, so I so I, I don't disagree with that. But I also think that this nigga been kind of like, he been getting jabbed. He been getting stepped on. For the past, I yeah. mean, I mean, how long? How long? So listen, first of all, first of all, we are not talking about fucking relationships. No, no. we're not doing that. We talking about marriage. We talking about motherfucking husband and wife. We talking about do's and don'ts. We talking about what the fuck is law. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, I think it's a combination of like Will Smith been walking around here really masking this pain he probably in because he out here looking crazy. Or at, at one point where he was the ass end of the joke, the memes. Like people was making comments, like like blatant comments, like, "Oh yeah, August fucking your wife and all this," and he would go in that joint, Damn. and he would and he would comment back like, "Oh that's funny," but now I gotta block you. Yes, uh, in the comments, the real Tiffany Tiffany pretty. I'm sorry if I messed that up. Says Will is tired. I agree. Yeah, the, I think the he's nigga tired, is tired, bro. but she she also said that they said that he didn't he didn't know. So you saying that they said that Chris Rock didn't know that she was sick. I, I find that hard to believe. Everybody else knew that she was fucking sick. Even, but regardless, whatever. Listen, even if he if, didn't know, if he did know, he fucking knows now. Even if that's the case, bro, like, come on, bro. Like, has he not been through enough, bro? Like, yeah, I see yeah. that pain in his face, though. Maybe because it's, you know, because as we men, we can kind of tell when other niggas kind of going through shit. But, like, you can see that pain in his face. Yeah, and that, then he's sitting on the front row, bro. So this, this, is, this is the thing, right? So, and, and we're going we gonna to break this shit down fucking to the fucking end so regardless of the fucking fact right prior to this moment social media and the internet has been dragging will smith through the fucking coals frontwards and backwards ever since and i'm not blaming her but ever since they became a lot more public with their relationship their health issues the august shit or whatever like people was already talking shit. It was like, well, he had that same energy when uh she was messing with August. Now peep this. I could have understood if it was just August and he pushed himself or forced himself up on her, but it takes two to fucking tango. So just as bad as fucking August wanted the Vagine, fucking Jada wanted the ping. You understand? So you can't say that's a different situation. It's a different situation. But I also think I also think that he knew about that shit. You know what <laughs> she I'm said it was August. I think I think <laughs> listen, end of the day, I think I think Will knew about the shit. And I think they've been together so long on that weird celebrity shit. Yeah, I mean, that but it they just, just had that an it, open just, it just is what it is. So it's like, yeah, you could say, oh, he ain't swing on August like that, but it, it situation he different. didn't you know, bro. You can't apply that. You can't apply that situation to this situation. And and different. and they said allegedly. I don't know how true this is. That that apparently Chris Rock been making jokes about Will Smith's personal life for a while. So it's so I, I've done some research. Oh. Now there's 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 clips of him roasting Jada like six years ago at the Oscars, and she jumped in his ass. So this is an ongoing thing. Mm. So ongoing thing. You don't, you don't hear about that shit. No, nah, you don't hear about news, that shit. Dude. But you know another thing you don't hear about? No, no. Let me see if anybody remembers. Ain't nobody, do, ain't nobody do none of this shit when fucking Tommy Lee Jones punched Kid Rock in the fucking face at the VMA Awards over him dissing Pamela Anderson. I'll wait. I don't even remember that. Exactly. That's what the fuck I thought. <laughs> Nobody said shit. Yeah, so you know. Yeah, that's what. I'm, yeah, Tiffany, that's a good point. They did say Jada and Will was broken up when she got with August. So that's what I'm saying. Like exactly, that shit's yeah, yeah, null yeah. and void. That shit is a different situation. Niggas is just, you know what it is. Niggas is reaching. So this, so so, I, so I've been watching. So I sat back today. I did. I did make a post, but I sat back and watched who was making the post. Oh, let me get. A, we got a comment. Mm -hmm. Nate Jones says. They were not together when August and Jay were messing around. They were separated, working on a divorce at the time. Got it. 
Yeah, so I agree. So I was totally. so I'm watching, I'm watching the folks' making comments. I'm watching, I'm watching motherfuckers who ain't married, who ain't in no relationship, who ain't been with nobody longer than fucking a, a fucking year, sitting there talking about shoulda, coulda, would I'm like, bro, when you really, when you real life married to somebody, y'all done known each other for a long time and y'all been married for a fucking long time. You just know, regardless of what the fuck is going on, that is still your spouse, bro. Yeah. And if she, if she turn and look at you like, nigga, it's not funny. If that eye contact says, what you about to do? Then you got to get up and do something. Or oh, you a bitch. And the crazy thing is, if he wouldn't have done anything, he'd have they been would, getting dragged. Yeah. So it's damn if you do, damn if you don't. He'd have been, he would have been getting dragged. What's up, Cuzzo? He'd have been getting dragged if he didn't do anything. So what you want him to do? Hey, look, if you you body, you fuck around, you got your you got your motherfucking Oscar. You had a long career. Will Smith don't give a fuck. Will Smith can never make a movie again. He's set for the rest of his life. Yeah, so, so why not go shit. ahead and slap a nigga? Why yeah, not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know what I'm no, saying? No, but I mean, I look at it like this, right? You talk about any of mine, right? Regardless. Off my and I'm gonna turn it to my New York shit. You talk about any of mine, right? I'm gonna violate you. You heard? Bing bang. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> like, trust me. Like, I'm with all the shits. What's? I'm with all the shits to the T. Everybody with, knows. Play with the family. How bro. I get down, bro? You know, my wife said that she was like, "You better be defending me." I'm like, <laughs> "Hey, this. What hey, this talking about? Hey, bro? look, then, cuz talking about he would slap that nigga too. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying." Cause, I know Cuzzo with the shits too. He would have did that. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Know. There's there's a there's a line, right? So everybody was like, "Oh, you know, he's just a comedian." Blah 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 blah. So let's compare, right? What comedians do you know? And nobody can answer this question. What comedians do you know that blatantly made fun of somebody's personal fucking health? They might have made fun of their fucking. Uh, court troubles, their gender, you know, you know, whether they're fucking, you know, their status, whether they're gay, trans, or whatever. But never have you seen a comedian talk about somebody's personal fucking illness or health. Dave Chappelle is off the fucking scale. I don't think, I don't think he would have did that, bro. They no, I'm the fuck no. Dave Chappelle is probably one of the grimiest motherfuckers on the but he does not cross that line when you get into personal people's shit. It doesn't fucking happen. Cord says trash comedian. I, I I'm not gonna say Chris Rock is a trash comedian. I, that I'm not funny to me. I'm just so. gonna say he's before me. He he's a he was before. Oh you know, right, I started you see his fucking fingers and you know shit. What I'm All right. He was he was he was funny in fucking uh uh, uh grown ups. What I, he funny in Adam Sandler movies. I just give him that. So another thing I want to touch. He was on. funnier in fucking New Jack City as Poopy. <laughs> so another thing I want to touch on. Shit, I shit I don't like. I hate this. I hate this. Oh, what if if that if that was a white person up up top? Oh, would he have done that? What the fuck does that have to yeah, do that, with that anything? That has nothing to do bruh? with anything. That has nothing Dog, to do with anything. This is how this is when y'all be reaching, bro. Like, stick to what happened. If you want to bring all this shit up, that's fine. But all this, what if this person was white, or what if this was a woman? But it wasn't though. It was a whole nigga up, up on the stage who thought this shit was funny. This wife didn't think so, so business had to be handled. It doesn't matter. And honestly, I think that if it was a white person, they, it would have been the same thing. Yeah, like, it, it, like it, defend your he's, spouse. He bro. smacked the white nigga that they tried to kiss him. He smacked the white dude. Well, he he ain't hit him like that, but he definitely made yeah, a I mean, but it, it was like a quick jump, like ha ha, you know, get the fuck up off me. All right, hold on. We got a comment from Nate Jones. Said, I understand why I would did the same um, time Jada as his wife should have. Held him back and waited until it was over. But I do believe Will is just over everyone's bullshit. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Will is definitely tired over everything's bullshit. I'm too well. My wife ain't holding me back. If a nigga needs to get violated, she's letting me go. Nah, bro. Everything can't listen. In a perfect world, bro, we, we, we can handle a lot of shit differently. But sometimes it's just not the case, bro. Sometimes you just got to let niggas know, like, listen, as you guys can see, I'm fucking tired of this shit. Yeah. So right. this is where I'm at now. If we in a function, you on the bullshit, I'm going to have to hit you with the right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> open hand. <laughs> hey, I, I, listen, listen. First of all, overhead, that nigga, bruh, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm more proud of Will Smith that he only hit this motherfucker one time. Yeah. How you just yeah. slap somebody once? Because that's what I said. So I, I, I talked about it earlier today at work. Motherfuckers are trying to debate. What's up, Stubby? 
I told that motherfucker, Will Smith hit that nigga with a ball slap. Yeah. Because if Will really wanted to violate this nigga, he could have I am legend this nigga off rip. You see what I'm saying? He could have fucking violated this nigga for real if he wanted to fucking do that, but he didn't have to. So he slapped that nigga and was like, look, I'm telling you right now, I can fucking kill you, but I'm about to embarrass you on national fucking TV for, for talking about my fucking wife. Stubby says, just making a point. What's up, man? How you doing? Um, yeah, man. Listen, yeah, you damn right. You damn right. You damn right. You damn right. Tiff, ain't nobody fucking with Will ass again. Ain't no Will. Somebody, you know, somebody. No, somebody no, try, no, bro. no. It's always Who? one, bro. Who? It ain't gonna be no big name. Why? It ain't gonna be no. But big why name would person. you do that? Let's be honest. Why the fuck would you try somebody who walked up on stage on national TV with millions of motherfuckers watching, and you slap this nigga? For disrespecting your wife, who is going to try? It's people now? already commenting, bro. and he won a fucking award. Hey, I'm telling you right you now. You know, you know who, you know who the first one, first one to say something was. No surprise, Stephen A. Smith. Man, fuck that Uncle Tom. It's fucking Stephen, Stephen A. Smith, Smith is always Uncle talking, bro. He fucking Uncle Tom. Be talking about oh, oh, he's just, you know, he's just making a disgrace for every black man. No, these niggas out here, that's out here killing fucking innocent kids and women and doing this wild shit in the city. Is fucking making it bad for us black men, not Will Smith protecting his fucking wife. Fuck out of here. Comment says Uber Fly says he matched the disrespect in the same manner of the disrespect. Facts. Gotcha. Facts. Big homie says I respect Chris about his bag. You know, Chris, I, I'm, I'm not gonna say this. First of all, that shout, nigga got a chin though. So I'm gonna say shout out to Chris Rock's chin. Yeah, but he you definitely got to see me after the show. Yeah, we definitely got to shoot the fade in but the fucking yeah, green yeah, room yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But. <laughs> Hey, little, little Duval said he erased all his Jada jokes. <laughs> Ty, hey, Ty, I see you in here. I'm, 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 I'm waiting for your, your take. I know you was posting shit earlier. But um, Stephen A. Smith getting there saying, and he be doing that shit too. Oh, especially as black men. Bruh, it's disrespect. Disrespect has no fucking skin color, bro. All right, so. It we, has no color. No, bro. it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. But we got a good comment from Nate Jones. Nate said, I think we need to talk about the elephant in the room. That's Will and Jada need to just go ahead and separate. Uh because uh, Jada does not respect him as a man or a husband, and he's constantly under pressure. Mm, what you think? Yeah, I think so, bro. I think so. Cause he's fucking broken, bro. As a man, right, that's dealt with some emotional shit, right? And some stress and you know, depression or whatever the fuck. That nigga is broken, cuz. Yeah, I I think it's all the shit. Therapy, like, bro. if you was to do, if you was the way out, who did what? Jada has done way more shit uh -oh. to Will than Will has done to Jada. Um, it's out of public. Let's just say that. So what I will say is, um, I'm pretty sure the world would would love for that to happen. But I would kind of look at I, it's like send her ass to Baltimore too. <laughs> she out here too crazy. I kind of I kind of will look at it as maybe it's it's the easy way out. Let's just split. I'm tired of this shit. But um, I don't know, bro. Like they've been together for. A break, I mean, they've been together for a minute. They're gonna stick it too. But I just I, well, let's put it like let me rephrase this shit. I don't think they. I'm gonna take it back. I don't think they should separate, right? But they will definitely have some shit that he needs to deal with. He definitely got some shit he needed to do. I mean, I don't, but I don't think I don't think he just been sitting there. I would I would like no, to think no, no, I would no. think I would like to think as a wealthy man that he has been probably trying to get as much help as no. he can get. No, motherfuckers don't do that. Did you listen to what the fuck he said? I heard what he said, bro. I mean, he I, said, I, I can see the pain in his face. He said though. it's his job to protect and love people, right? That's a lot of pressure on one person. He feels like he has to be. The motherfucking Iron Man, and for his family, his friends, his associates, or whatever. That's a lot of pressure on somebody. Because the thing about it is, this thing about it, you try to protect everybody else, but you couldn't even protect your goddamn house. This is true. You, you see what I'm saying? So it's a bunch of underlying shit, right? That's going <laughs> on that we wouldn't know about, that we don't have privy to. And the only people that do is fucking Will and Jada. Only Will and Jada know why that nigga smacked that nigga like that. Chris Rock don't know. He might think it's because of the G.I. Jane joke, but I'm pretty sure it's deeper than that. I'm pretty sure it's, it's built, way deeper. It, you, than you can tell it's built up. 
Like, if if anybody doesn't think that that wasn't built up anger and just was trying to release you crazy. But then on top of that, that motherfucker ain't have a candle where he won an Oscar an hour later and then he was fucking performing, getting jiggy with it with the fucking trophy in his fucking ass. That motherfucker, it ain't, hey, it's fucking business as usual. Okay, we got a comment. Ty says, all comedians out there now gonna be fearful and didn't like that shit last night. Sets a bad precedent. Also, Chappelle would have went there too with that joke. Nah, nah. I, 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 don't, I don't agree with that, dog. I don't agree nah, with that. I, I don't think I don't Chappelle would know, bro. That I don't shit. know. I mean, I, I'm not saying he wouldn't. I would think that he wouldn't, but, you know, this this Dave Chappelle, so. I mean, he didn't cross every line, but it, it, listen, no, if, if Dave Chappelle would have got smacked, Dave, it would have been, it, it is what Dave, it is. Dave Chappelle crossed a lot of lines, but please tell me, and I'm waiting for somebody to do that, let me know when he is blatantly disrespect and pull somebody personal business out there. Nah. He hasn't. The last stand-up Johnny talked about, right? He, just, he, he really was talking about the, that thing was the trans, transgender uh, person, but it was a comedian, Yeah, right? He wasn't making fun of her. Or him, or whatever it was, he wasn't making fun of him. He brought it into light that he actually supported because he was like people was bashing him about how he talks about them or whatever. He just shares his experience. He shared his experience. He's they, not going he out there and being like, "Oh, this motherfucker did this, this, this." Hold on, we got some comments. We got, we got some comments. Hold on oh, a second. What big home? What big home say? Hold on, we got. They said if your wife comes out saying she's ready to feel what real love is, and what's it's like to be loved and it's time to let her go. I love her as an actor, but she sucks as a wife. <laughs> Received. Hey, so, <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's a hard one. But then, like I said, that's, that's something that they got to fucking work on and figure out. If my wife was to come out and say that she's ready to feel what real love is. And we've been married for fucking decades. Then it's a problem. Right, that's something that I have to address with myself, right? Because to me, at that point, I would feel like there's something wrong. Okay, Ty says Jesse Smollett was clowned by Chappelle, but that was talking about a situation. What illness? Well, who did? What illness did Juicy Smouye we talking have? A, I mean, we're talking about a condition, though, bro. I mean, you're so, talking about health condition. This motherfucker blatantly lied about getting jumped and beat up. So, so clout. So the, I that think I, I think the difference on that is this is that's that shit could have been avoidable. So you, you know what I'm saying? So y'all don't think nobody on Christine mentioned Jada having alopecia once. That's what I'm saying. This nigga knew. Hey, hey, grew up. This nigga knew. We on it. I think he knew, bro. Like, I mean, come on. So you just you just pulled that fucking joke out the back pocket. I mean, I know you've been been being a comedian for years, but come on. Bro. It it do come with the territory, right? I get it, right? I can't, and I'm gonna go back to my statement again. Yes, a comedian has no boundaries, right? Per se. But can somebody please tell me when a comedian has blatantly talked about somebody's health condition or whatever? I can't remember one. I can't Nobody's going to joke about somebody got fucking cancer. No. Nah. Can you remember one? I don't. Not, not off the top of my head. No. Nah. I but mean, even still, but even still, right? Yes, he's a comedian. He said that shit, but it's only so much a nigga can take, bro. Honestly, I think that I think that if he wasn't still under the pressure from the August shit, he may not have done it. I that's what I think. I think that that shit. I think that shit is always in the back of his mind. It'll probably never go away. And with somebody who you already had a run in with in the past, you know what I'm saying. Come back and then do the same yeah. shit again. I mean, I, an example has to be made. So they talking about it's a possibility they might take his award. What you think about that? What y'all think uh, about that? You, th I'm, you think I'm he should get his award shit. tip? Nah, nay, that's shit. nay, that's a good jump. So don't forget, Chris was talking shit when Jada wanted to boycott the Oscars when he was hosting. We'll say back and it was like that big say no one's wrong. It's like right, yeah. But then on top of that, right, he's Ooh. talking shit about her hair. And he did a whole documentary on black women's hair. Now, how important it is. is true. Come on now. Hey, we got a good one here. They said they he said he should have slapped the shit out of August for all right now. Sis. <laughs> Sis. <laughs> Hold on, I got like eight comments. Hey, let me tell you something. Why the fuck would he why would he slap August for digging in Jada guts if they were separated? 
What's the point of slapping him for? And plus, that nigga was fucking malnourished. There was no point of slapping that nigga. It'd have been fucking. It'd have been no fight. Yeah, he earned that award. People talked about MJ changing colors. <clears throat> they talked about Magic Johnson. They said Ty said they clown Magic Johnson for having AIDS back in the day and still now. All right, so on that That's notion. Good, but hold on, tell me, hold on, hold on. The only reason why they're clowning him is they're trying to figure out how, how, the fuck how he caught that shit so long ago and he's still walking around here like a whole healthy nigga. That's yeah, why they yeah, clown yeah. it. But nobody ever said like, oh, you're going to fucking die. You got AIDS. I mean, he didn't say it in that aspect, but you didn't like back this nigga in it. Well, no, nah, I can't say that, bro, because they, they would, yeah. They was you, going you, in you on might, You might got to hey, you might, hey, you hey, might hey, got hey, that one. Hey, son, that's a good point, right? That's a good point. But at the you, end of the you day. got that one time. At the end of the day, that nigga's a fucking, he's a different man. Will not taking that shit. Obviously, fucking magic fucking endured it because it's been happening forever. It's on it's all on the individual, right? Everybody it's all on the individual. The Everybody got a certain level of bullshit they can deal with. Me, mine is very low. Will Smith shit, obviously, is gone to a certain point. Magic doesn't give a fuck because he has the cure and he's not sharing it. <laughs> See, that's what they be saying, bro. That's what they be saying. Fuck magic will come slap me. Okay. All right. Well, I'll be waiting. Um, so they had those good points. So uh in the comments they said he earned his award, but they 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 legitimately might try to take it. I think at the most, because he definitely earned a fucking award. I think if you wanna if you want to do something to show the people that you ain't playing, I think you could just ban him from the fucking Oscars for a certain period of time. I mean they're not gonna ban him, they're gonna have to do something. That nigga had the goats consoling him right after. I get that, but you know what I'm Denzel, saying? Denzel, Tyler Perry, and the fucking producer of the goddamn Academy Awards were consoling Will Smith after he just slapped fire out of a nigga. That nigga getting banned. He ain't getting banned. Fuck out of here. He might be hosting next year. <laughs> Fuck is y'all talking about? <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. I think they gonna have to do something. They gonna have to. You uh, have mental health to consider these days. My call out. He didn't slap August like that. Yes, mental health is definitely a thing. But like I said, I'm going back. Jada and Will Smith were separated when August got into them. When August wanted the vagine and Jada wanted the ping, they were ooh, fucking separated. Ooh. ooh, Stubby says that they ban him. That puts him in the same lot as Cosby and Weinstein. Not happening. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I mean, I think you can get oh, oh, how <laughs> I'm just reading how? the comments. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on, hold the fuck on. If that, hold on, I'm gonna read this shit again. If they ban him, that puts him in the same lot as Cosby and Weinstein. Please explain that shit. Well, we're gonna, how we're gonna wait for the comment, we're gonna wait for him to comment back. Next, how? but how. I don't know, bro. I just read it. Don't jump on me, nigga. Shit. Them motherfuckers are to catch a predator fucking prime members. Like, was how they, the fuck? Was they banned, though? I don't know. Was they banned? Man, them niggas was banned for everything. I'm talking about, before, I mean, was they banned before that or was that after? They was okay. banned after the charges and all of that. They wasn't, wasn't they almost recent Academy bans? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We had to look that up. Look that up for me. Yeah, because I, I mean, Will Smith was putting pills in bitches. Gentle pop. Oh, uh, Ty says if if the Rock swung back and started brawling, would y'all still condone? Bro, listen, I would have loved for Chris Rock to swing back as a, as a, another grown man. Hey, I'm gonna keep it a bean. I'm kind of fucking looking at this nigga crazy because yeah, fuck the money, but at the end of the day, you're a man. I'm not gonna let no man slap me. Period. Whether it's in the street, whether we in fucking Chick Fil A, or whether we on national TV, I'm not letting no niggas slap me and That's walk true. away. Hollywood Cole says you can't pick and choose when you want to be offended. Yes, the fuck you can, bro. Yes, no. you can. We are human, bro. Like, listen, I could be walking down the, sh I could be in the fucking parking lot of Safeway, and a nigga just fuck turned Safeway. in the park too fucking close to me, and I could be fucking pissed because his fucking shirt is red. And like, why the fuck you park this close? Or it could be an old lady. I could be like, ah, you know. Let me like I can pick and choose, bro. Yeah, I can pick and choose when I want to be about the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, bro, you can't like. I just want to, we, we trying to make rules like, like niggas, like people, black men don't have feelings. Like we have feelings, bro. I know we supposed to be tough and all that other shit, but when you got it, when you got a nigga like this walking around, just that shit balled up and you balled up and you, and then you get got some goofy shit going on. You sitting in the front row. 
You sitting 15 feet from this dude. And and nobody's talking about and then they just hit it. Nobody's talking about the fact that fucking Chris Rock is a repeat offender of talking shit about Jada on national TV. Mm. A repeat offender? Nah, you got to see me, cuz. Yeah. Yeah, hey, good fucking point, Tiffany. Yes, I think he didn't swing back because he saw a brother in pain, and I think it was a big of him to not because he probably understood at that moment. Exactly. That's exactly why he said, after Will said, keep your name out, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth, he said, okay, I will. That's why. And then he sat there. Boy, that motherfucker was like, can we please go to commercial, bro? Get me off this fucking stage. Yeah, bro. that motherfucker, his face hurt. I mean, you know, we look, we can sit here and say, oh, it wasn't a good look for the black community. Man, fuck all that, bro. Like, I just see somebody who, who was fed up and some shit had to happen. Whatever happens to them after this, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? If they would have got in a whole fight, you know, if he the full back, then it is what it is. Listen, he could have smacked him and Chris Rock could have whooped his ass on the stage in front of his wife. Well, then that's just what happened. Or he, he could have sat wife, there, though. took the hit, you know what I'm saying? And be like, okay, my bad, my bad. Oh, shit. This this the best Grammys ever now. But what happened? Happened, bro. That's why like, he's not pressing charges because he knew what time no, it was. No, he's not going to press charges. He's not going to do that. Everybody was expecting his ass to. He ain't going to press Let that. me tell you something, right? I'll be surprised, Story bro. time. Story time, right? My daughter's birthday back in December. We had this good old buoy establishment celebrating my daughter's birthday. We're leaving. My family has their own ways of saying bye, right? One is in the car screaming, I love you! My wife replies, I love you too! It's a group of niggas that's behind us, like four of them, say, shut the hell up. I want to know what in the comments what anybody would have done, but I'm going to tell you what the fuck I did. I turned around and said, who the fuck said that? All of them put their heads down. I repeated myself. Who the fuck said that? Because that was my wife. Nobody said shit. So I continued to walk forward towards the group. I told y'all, I'm with all the shit. I get there, it's a fucking kid in front of me. And I'm like, who the fuck said it? He was like, I did. I said, come on, little nigga. I said, have some respect. That's my wife. Then, what made it even worse, he had an older dude next to him. I don't know if it was his cousin or whatever the fuck, but he had an older dude next to him. He was like, he was like, why the fuck you always saying something? And he punched a little nigga in his chest. At that point, I'm like, no. No, I'm like, you did that shit too late. You should have punched this nigga when he first said it. Don't say it now because I checked all of you. Fucking do that shit at the beginning. That's what's wrong with these niggas nowadays. That's why I tell people all the time, I'm with all the shits. And I'm still looking for the nigga who touched my wife's chicken at the Jasmine Solomon concert. I'm on your ass. I'm on your ass, nigga. Oh, man. I'm on your ass. So they not. I don't think they're going to take his award, though, bro. No, they're not going to take his award. I don't think For so. what? He deserved it. Ain't nobody talking about how fucking Serena uh, Nipple was out, but she fucking des he deserved it. I think that was it. Venus. Venus. One of them. Venus nipple. I seen that shit. I'm like, come on, bro. <laughs> I think, honestly, I think the funniest part of the whole Thank thing you, Dave. I did what the fuck I was supposed to do as a goddamn husband. But you know why? Because I'm setting an example for my fucking kids. I have three daughters I have to raise. There's no way I'm letting no nigga disrespect them. Or my wife. Facts. Period. You heard it here first, gents. You got a problem? Come see me, because I'm with the shit. Ty says he was about to swing at first. Ty, he, that nigga, he that nigga automatically swing, put his bro. fucking hands behind his back. He's it, it was it was a surrender. As soon as the hit happened, bro, it was a surrender. It was just like, damn, what do I do? Nah, you ain't yeah, doing nothing, hey, bro. Hey, Henderson, yeah, you got a good point. You said DA still could file without Chris Rock request. Wouldn't be any different from a former Ravens player getting prosecuted without the request of his wife who got knocked out in the elevator. Yeah, facts. <laughs> I That's mean, well, I mean, what they going? What he gonna get a night in jail? He get some community service? I mean, bro, yeah, who, who cares, man? man? It is what it is. is. I mean, are, are we gonna be talking about this shit forever? Is it gonna be memes forever? Yes, his crying face meme 
is going to get replaced. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate junk. That shit is going to get replaced with this smack shit. Dude, like, that, that nigga. Nah, hell no, my wife ain't like Jay. Uh oh, it's my uh, wife loyal. Uber, Uber fly said that nigga, hey, hey, shout out to using the question feature on IG. He says, How do you think Chris Rock is feeling today? Who cares, nigga? I mean, look, just get out there a couple days. Just look. I ain't saying his feelings don't matter. I mean, if I was him, I'd be kind of fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, well, maybe I don't need to be on social media for I, a couple to, weeks. To be honest, to be honest, I don't nobody fucking know how the fuck he feel. I think he feels stupid. He might not give a shit. He might nah, he nah. As as a as a as a man, right? If you make a mistake, own up to your shit, right? I think I think Chris Rock is at that that level of maturity that he probably does feel some type of empathy, right, for what the fuck he's done. There's plenty of comedians out there that said some shit they shouldn't have said, and they went back on it and fucking, you know, I'm sorry. Not saying he's going to apologize, but I'm pretty sure that he feels some type of remorse for what he said. I think he's going to apologize. I think, I think, I think. Will that- apologize to him publicly. No, he didn't. He yes, apo- he did. He apologized. No, for fucking- it's, no, it's on social media. No, he came out and said, "I publicly apologize to Will, uh, Chris Rock." I seen it. When was this? After today? Oh, it was today. It was today. Seen on Instagram and Twitter. Damn, Will, you you a better man than me, bro. I, look, I had to look. He had to at least say it to me first. I know that sounds like some kitty shit, but nigga, you got to tell me sorry. Yeah, first, Jada, 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 do talk too fucking much at that damn red table. That motherfucker's a red table of fucking know it all. Everybody, like, everybody, everybody, that motherfucker. Everybody gonna want to interview Chris Rock on that shit, bro. Of course everybody. They do. Everybody wanna interview, everybody gonna want to interview Chris Rock. They're gonna try to get everybody. They're gonna try to get a fucking Willow crazy ass, fucking Jaden. They're gonna try to get a fucking shit, you, you see Jaden uh, tweet it. You see Jaden tweet. He nah, said he said he said that he said that's how we do it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He tweeted that. He said that's how that's we do it. That's what I'm talking it. about. The whole family with the shits. I mean, come on, bro. Like, nah, nah, look, man, look, nah. We, we won't, we won't, we won't, we won't beat it too much, man. But um, pause. But it is what it is, bro. Like, nah, Will, that. Will ain't going to that motherfucking red table. I think Will done. I mean, he I said just bring like, Chris, yeah, bring Chris ass to the red table. And see what the shit, fuck is going Chris, on. Chris, Chris ain't coming on red table. But yeah. bottom line, bro, it is law. Okay, it is the law. In my honor, in my fucking Sylvester Stallone voice, it is the law. For you to defend your fucking wife, bro. Yep. I'm telling you right now. I don't now. give a fuck if he. I know they was like, oh, he was laughing at first until he looked the fuck over and then seen that she wasn't laughing. Yeah, but the thing about it, it's not even that. How many of you motherfuckers actually laughed at some shit that wasn't funny? They try to play it all. They try to woosaw yourself. The fake work laugh. Don't try to woosaw yourself before you actually spaz on somebody. Everybody has done it. This is true. Everybody has fucking done it. Real quick. Hey, if you're not fucking subscribed to the fucking Captain's Log podcast and YouTube show on YouTube, please do. Or on Facebook, please do. Because when we have guests, right, we don't do the live on Instagram or Facebook. It goes directly to those pages. So please make sure that you are following us and subscribe to both channels on YouTube and Facebook. But anyway, no. <laughs> no, it's not happening. <laughs> Every last one of you motherfuckers that sat there and laughed at some shit that made you feel uncomfortable or made you feel some type of way. Why? Is because you you thought about your fucking action first. Will thought about what the fuck he was gonna done. That's why he laughed. Cause you had somebody at your job was like, ha ha ha. Yeah, man. You know, you guys always eating chicken or some shit like that. You just like, ha ha ha. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker when I leave up out of here. You gonna wait till ain't nobody around. You gonna check his. Oh, you gonna check his ass? Like, come on, man. Don't fucking sit there and say nah. There are usually anti-violence and anti-arguments in the house. All right. Okay. Re- received. Received. Um. I I'm mean, bottom line, stuff. man. I mean, this this is this but is that shit ain't in the house. That shit was okay. Ty says defend your wife backstage, handle it like men, not sucker punch on TV on a smaller dude who can't or won't fight back in a situation cowardly. You know what? Listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you start, how the fuck you know he not gonna fucking fight back? You can't you none of you niggas size up any niggas like that when y'all outside. None. I'm being honest. Cause if a nigga disrespect you, I see niggas out here in the streets around the way disrespect niggas for less. And niggas did nothing, or they went straight spam the fuck off over a parking spot, 
or what somebody said on fucking social media. You run up a nigga house with blickies and fucking dogs and laying shit out for less. When a nigga can't defend his wife, man, get the fuck out of here. No, sorry. I'm going to put my mask back on because that's the shit I'm on today. <laughs> Y'all niggas are fucking me right it's Serious now. business. Yeah. Uh, man, listen, again, man, This it's not a perfect world, dog. So it's like, yeah, they, they can, they will, for anything that we do, you know what I'm saying, male, female, whatever fucking color you are, they're all, there's always a, a better scenario, a better way we can handle this. We just chose, he just chose not to do it. He, just, he he made a choice. You know what I'm saying? And um, it is what it is, bro. Will Smith don't give a fuck about how I feel, even if I'm on his side. I don't give a fuck how you feel if you're not on his side. He doesn't care. No, he doesn't. You know but, what I'm saying? But can I get you, right? But nine times out of ten, motherfuckers ain't thinking like that. They reacting. Then they think about what the fuck they said. Yeah, because me nine times out of ten, I have to, I have to woo saw, right? And this is me learning to be a mature adult, right? Because at first I'm on your ass, regardless of what the fuck is happening or whatever. But me as an adult, me having kids and a and a family and a wife that I have to be a, a role model to, I have to think before. But sometimes fucking uh Tiffany Haddish said it fucking best. Sometimes discipline has to be administered. And it was that day. Mm, okay. All right. Well, um, y'all got y'all got any more uh, questions or comments? I on think this? Chris would have fought back if they were uh, if they were somewhere else. Yeah, I mean, it's you know, you on national TV, so I, I mean, I honestly didn't expect them to just go on a full out fight, but I wouldn't I wouldn't have been mad at him if if he would have came back. You know what I'm saying? Or even you know, cussed him out or something, or threw the microphone at him. I wouldn't have been mad at none of that. I mean, I'm not mad that he stood there. You All right, hold on. Saying? I got I got to ask a question. So be honest, Rick. At the comedy show, would you have taken it that far? This is why I said... This is why I said what I said earlier. The mask right? is off. The mask is off. At a comedy show, that's different. These motherfuckers don't know me. They don't know me. They're going to fry me or whoever I'm with based off what they see. Right? Me personally, I think Chris Rock knew that Jada Pickett is sick and she has alopecia and he took a jab at it. That is a difference between me sitting at a comedy show and a nigga that I fuck with on whatever type of level talking and being disrespectful to my wife. Plain and simple. Now, if I'm at a comedy show and I've been there, motherfuckers do get kind of disrespectful. Yes, I'm G-checking who the fuck it is. But I do understand they have a job. But at the end of the day, you're not going to be disrespectful is what it is. I understand there's jokes, right? But you're not going to disrespect me or my wife. But I've been to comedy shows. I sat in front rows. It's the funniest place. To, it's the best place to fucking sit. I can't do the front no, row. No, I do the front row. You know what, bro? I, I can't do it. I could be in there. I, honestly, I it's, don't know, bro. I don't know what I'm capable of if I'm in the front nah, row. I'm and and a nigga just standing over me like, oh, yeah, you know your wife, man. I'd fuck your wife. And I'd be like, oh. oh yeah, that's, oh, what, I'm, that's, that's like, what I'm saying. That's different. Like, now it's like, oh, damn. No, this motherfucker bald head motherfucker looking like Spike the dog of Looney Tunes. Okay, that's funny. But now you over here talking about, oh, I'm fucking your wife or some shit like that. Now you got to see me. Yeah, there'll definitely be blood because I'm fucking smashing your shit. And I'm flooding you in this fucking improv. You just need to sit in the back. Man. No, I don't need to sit in the back. Sit I'm right paying my fucking money and I'm the, sitting in front. Sit in the back next to the bathroom. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all with all the shit. Like, like, don't get me wrong. Everybody got to do a job, but everybody has to draw a line at some point. I'm not going to fucking sit here. Like, I'm not as a chef or a personal trainer. I'm not going to fucking, I mean, uh, uh, a firearms instructor. I'm not going to fucking sit here and go to somebody's house and say, oh, your fucking food, or like somebody cooks me something, oh, your food's fucking nasty as shit. Oh, I'm rolling over in my grave. We're not going to do no shit like that. That's disrespectful. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? I feel you. I feel you. Like, that, 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 that just goes to type, to me, that just goes to show what type of people that they surround themselves around. If you got a motherfucker that's blatantly disrespecting your household or your family, then why the fuck are you with him? That ain't your man. Or with them. That's not your man. That's not your family that way, too. It's been plenty of times I done cut family off for talking sideways. I don't give a fuck. Because at the end of the day, you got to respect me. He has a nigga to run his social media. He's not dumb. He knew he had, she had alopecia. That's what I'm saying. 
I think he, I just feel like as a celebrity, you, you just you just know, like especially you know they probably been plenty of parties, that's little what I'm functions saying. around each other. They know. I, I, they know. And that, that ain't no How the secret. fuck do I know? And I don't know them personally, but he don't. And these niggas have been in movies, parties, TV shows, and all types of shit like that. Yeah. So and nobody, come on, get the fuck out of here. So bro. really, really, the real one of the main reasons why they say that they want to take the award is because they felt like he ruined. The Oscars because apparently, you know, he you did. know that they feel like they took the spotlight off Quest Love. He got his joint, a couple other people. I don't even know who the fuck got that last movie. I was like, what the fuck is Coda? But I mean, you know, whatever. Um, so oh I, so shit. On the blogs, they say Chris didn't write the joke, the producers did. Chris told Will about it, and Will told him not to say it, and he said it anyway. Yes, I'm violating you off of that. I am smashing your fucking head in. Oh. That's what I'm the saying. Truth comes out, the truth comes out. All right. So, yeah, that's, that's point, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that'd be right. That shit ain't. Hey, I, I hope that resurfaces somewhere on, on Channel no, 5 News tomorrow no, on TMZ. Bro, no, bro. No. Harvey goofy ass. And the it ruined the show. It ruined it. No. Damn. No. So, take it back. We still fuck with Will. Now, I fuck with Will. Oh, no, we was with Will the whole time. Man. We was, listen, I'm, I'm with Will the whole time, bro. Uh, like, man, listen, I, I just slap a nigga for less. So, Mm -mm. Hey, hey, Bear, you already know what type time we on. So. Nah, bro. <laughs> you already know. You already know what type time we on. Anybody mess with mine, we on it. And then if motherfuckers are point to take care of my fucking family while I'm gone, don't do what the fuck they supposed to do. It's on site, too. All right, nigga. All Facts. Right. We ain't going that far. Right, shit. Yeah, nah, I'm just saying. <laughs> you got anything else you want to put in on it, man? We got I got a dead joke. Yeah. If, if y'all don't know, y'all ain't been tuning in. I do dad jokes every fucking episode. You ready? Now watch. Now watch fucking. Don't worry about me, watch nigga. Bug, Just say the fucking joke. Watch bro. Bug Face. What did Chris look? See, he started laughing before he said it. Hey, what did what did Chris Rock say? What did Chris Rock have on his face when he woke up in the morning? Fresh Prince. <laughs> That shit was good. Dude, hey, fuck him. We ball. We got bail money Boy, and on. lawyer fees out here. All right, look. So that's all That's all we got, man, for hey, that man. shit. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all, bro. We want to let y'all know uh, coming up in... Um, Coming up in April, we, said, got, we got two guests. <laughs> no, we ain't saying that Say it again. again. What did Chris Rock have on his face when he woke up? Fresh prints. <laughs> <laughs> they asked for it. Y'all keep fueling this fool, man. Y'all they asked for it. Yeah, tell them more. We with the shit. So look, so we 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 getting back on our live shit more. Um, yeah, yes, sir. At least twice a month. We we got two guests coming up next month. We have one who is a, a own owner of a football program for the youth, and we also got uh, two of my buddies from high school. They are shoe resellers. I've been wanting to have a conversation about this blasphemy with the fucking sneakers. So they're gonna be coming on next month, and um, it should be a pretty good show. You good over there? I'm good, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Right, I thank everybody for the support. Um, we do this weekly, every fucking Monday. If it's just us on Tuesdays, if we have guests, we post the social medias. So, um, I appreciate everybody share, like, comment, subscribe, provide feedback. Look, we coming up on our hundredth episode, man. We trying to figure out what the fuck we gonna do. Y'all need to get here. Y'all need to get here on fucking time. Y'all, yeah, y'all yeah, be thirty yeah. minutes late. I don't like y'all. Y'all on C. Y'all yeah, yeah. on CP time. You motherfuckers on CP time. But I'm telling y'all, like I'm thinking about, and me and Boog talked about, uh, trying to do a fucking contest. Excuse me. Uh, and the winner of this contest is actually a guest on the show. Thinking about it, possibly, but I don't fucking know. Uh, so make sure that you follow on all our social media handles. He said drip time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it don't drip. I got nah, I gotta go to work tomorrow, man. Nah. But uh hey, make sure y'all tune in. I know that was a whiskey burp. That shit hurt too. Um, but uh please make sure y'all subscribe, make sure y'all comment. Uh whatever we post, please make sure that you guys like, share, 
provide feedback if the shit's ass, if it sucks, whatever the fuck. Like at the end of the day, we take constructive criticism. Uh, we're doing this for you guys. So whatever you guys uh, provide with us, we'll take the heat and uh, try to make them change. But that's all I got, bro. You're getting pretty good at this. I just want to let you know that. It's come natural, don't it? <laughs> come natural, don't it? All right, y'all. Capping out. <laughs>